Hello, lovely people. Welcome to Time with Auntie Midwife with your beloved midwife, Kenny's. Yay! How are you all doing? If you would ask me, I am very fine, thank you. And I miss you all so much. Guess what? This year, I thought of a plan to reduce the incidence of teenage pregnancies and unwanted pregnancies. But how do I intend to do this? I intend to do that by providing you, my lovely audience, with all the information you need to know on your reproductive system. Yes, your reproductive system. One would ask, why the reproductive system? You aren't far from the answer. Just subscribe to my channel, like and share, so that we all learn together. <laughs> all right, so back to the answer. The reproductive system because firstly, reproduction is the process by which plants and animals give rise to offspring. So we are in existence because of a decision our parents took in their animals, homo sapiens. And so when we make the same decision to bring to life offspring, that is the process of reproduction. That is how come you need to know your reproductive system so that you don't fall prey to teenage pregnancies and unwanted pregnancies. Okay, so what is the reproductive system? The reproductive system is a collection of internal and external organs. Yes, internal organs are the organs inside the human body, whilst external organs are the organs outside the human body. And this is in both males and females. And they work together to make procreation possible. So it baffles me when ah, a teenager falls prey to teenage pregnancy and she's left to carry the pregnancy alone. No, don't be part of those unscrupulous men who leave these ladies to suffer. You're not supposed to do that because the pregnancy occurred because of an act that both of you took. You get me? So just don't be part. No, don't be. <laughs> Regarding reproduction, you must bear in mind that many organs many organs play a part to make reproduction possible but there are some organs that are primary and these organs are two we have the testes in males and the ovaries in females the testes produces the sperms and the male sex hormones whilst the ovaries produces the eggs and the female sex hormones you get it yes so aside this too there are other secondary organs that play a part so in our subsequent discussion or episodes we'll get to unveil all of them and know what each organ does but you must bear in mind that the reproductive system is one of the most important systems in the body yes because <laughs> it is only the reproductive system that does not function until puberty so until you are in your puberty stage there isn't any um, reproductive organ functioning you get me so this should tell you how special the reproductive system is now let's come back to reality usually when a male and a female when they like themselves they say that oh there is chemistry between us are you sure that is chemistry? Are you sure? Are you sure? Because I bet to differ. Yes, that is erroneous. When a male and a female, when they like themselves, huh, and their reproductive systems recognize each other, they exchange pleasantries, and they meet the act. S-E-X, sex, is biology. It's not chemistry. So do you bear with me? <laughs> that is rather biology that exists, not chemistry. Yeah, yeah, I know you bear with me. So, <laughs> oh, this is where we end our discussion today. This is all you know for the overview about the reproductive system. In our next episodes, we will take the organs one after the other. Thank you very much for your valuable time. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, share, and let's have fun all the time. Do take care of yourself. Make sure that you take good care of yourself because it's your life, it's your choice. We shall meet again. Bye. <laughs>